Okay, this is gonna be a little treat that I got lined up on top of we got the ham hot going, the, I mean the pork uh, leg going over there. Uh, I got a little fire set up, just four eight by eight bricks with a little bit of wood underneath. I'm gonna take this off right now because I'm not really too ready for it yet. It's actually going pretty good and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make some chicharrones and some pork skins right now. All right, bye. Hi, Trev 2323 Sun here. Uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm going to make the chicharrones. What chicharrones is, is pork skin. Right here. Just the pork skin and the fat. I'm just going to lay this out here. Now normally when you get it from the butcher shop, they have their little ink marks on it here. So, what I like to do is take a little bit of any kind of vinegar really. Take a little bit of that and what you're going to do is you're going to put some of it on a towel here. A napkin, towel, anything really. Just enough so you can scrub it and try and get most of the ink off. Put that there. Then you just scrub it down. It's okay if you don't get most of it off because I'm pretty sure that they use this ink all over so it's got to be good for people to eat humans to eat just try and get the most of it off here preferably don't use apple cider vinegar though use a uh, just straight vinegar, it's a little bit stronger, not diluted with anything. So, just clean it off just a little bit, as much as you can. And, uh, what we're using is a little homemade pit. And, uh, we got a little pot with oil on it. So, we're going to cut this up here. Just cut it up into pieces that'll fit in a pot. In your pot, you're going to have oil. So... It's going to take about two hours to cook. We're doing about four pounds of it. The one important thing about this chicharrona here is don't let it sit too long. Try to keep an eye on it because it will burn. Try and do it in about two inch by two inch cubes here. Because when you cook the chicharron, it's going to kind of shrink down here. So two inch by two inch cube will cut down to about an inch by inch. It's still a good, decent bite size portion here. So, and just do it like that there. Now I'm not going to do the video for all four pounds of it. I'm just going to show you about decent sized cuts that you can do for it, how to just get the ink off here. Okay, I'm back. This is Trev2323 Sun again. So, instead of doing the four pounds, this is actually seven pounds here of chicharron. We got our apparatus outside that we're going to be cooking on. Instead of throwing this portion here in the pot, what I did was I scored it in little squares. And I'm actually going to throw this on the same pit that the lechon is on. So, I'm going to show you our final product product when we're done here. Alright, we're back. Trev2323 Sun here. We've got our cut up portions of chicharron here. And we've got our little fire pit. Now with your pot, don't fill it all the way with oil because with this here, you're going to have the fat cooking down and that's going to give you some oil too. Now you're going to use a pretty big pot depending on the amount that you make. But this right here, this is really thick so you want to kind of put it in carefully because you don't want the oil to pop back at you. When 
put it in the pot kind of separated so it doesn't get stuck together. on here we got our little wooden doll you're gonna mix it around here this way it doesn't get stuck to the bottom you're gonna do this ever so often just to make sure that it's cooking right cooking even then I'm gonna go ahead and take the internal temperature on it and right now my son's gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the chicharron on there all right so right here we got our diced up chicharron Another little extra grate on here over a flame here. So we'll set this down. And take it, try and keep it in its one slab and close when you throw it on. You got it on here. Kind of push it together. Now this right here was a pretty thick cut of meat. So it should cook down a decent amount. There's a lot of fat on this. So uh <coughs> You shouldn't have to check on this so often because it's just the coals going, not an actual flame. Probably check it as often as you check the lechon here. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead, drop the cover, let it cook down, and we'll see you in about an hour. Okay, I'm about 130 right here. I gotta get up to 180, so I'm gonna put some more charcoal on the grill because I got about an hour that I need it done with, so I gotta get this temperature up. All right, so the chicharron's been on for about an hour now. As you can see right here, they're getting nice and how should I say, crispy. So uh, probably them on for about another half hour to an hour just to make sure they cook all the way through. But you don't want to leave them on too long because they will start to get soggy. Alright, so right now we're going to pull off the ones that we've done on the little apparatus we made here with the grease. Now when you know these are done, is when you get this right here, and you see that crackle in there? That's from all the air pockets from the grease and everything coming out of the skin. That's how you know those are done in here. Now me and my dad here had a little thing going, who would make the better one? He made his in the grease, I made mine on the pit. This is how mine came out. Mine came out just right, nice and crisp, still nice and soft on the insides, perfect. Let's see how his came out. If I can personally say something, I really do like the ones on the pit because you got the kind of fire roasted smoke flavor on them. Three, go. So his came out pretty good. They didn't come out quite as good as mine. Mine came out pretty crispy. His are kind of soft a little bit still, but it's all right. So I'm just gonna pull all these out here. We actually paid uh, 69 cents a pound for the pork skins. 69 cents a pound for it. And we bought, I think it was uh, seven, pounds. seven pounds of it. And that's what it boiled down to. Well, that's how you make the chicharrones. Uh, have fun making it. It's a good family thing to get to. We're probably going to buy 20 pounds next time. Uh, the ham's still on the pit right now.